All right, hello everybody. My name is Luis Cervantes Oropesa. I'm currently a senior at Portland State University. But enough about me, let's get into this. All right, so today what we're gonna be learning, we're gonna be learning about functions. Functions are very powerful in the sense that it's gonna make your code nice and short, and it's gonna, and it's just gonna teach you a lot of concepts that it's gonna help you on, on later on in your coding career. So let's get started. So first, we're gonna define our motors, obviously. So I like to, to do legs as my variable name. So you can name whatever you want. And then we're gonna obviously call the function the function motor pair, and then C, and then D because those that's where the ports are. You can see on top. And then now, so first, when we want to actually um, define a function, we have to um, actually first let's set let's set up the speed. So legs dot set underscore default underscore speed and then we're gonna set it to 50 because I don't want it to just go out of crazy so first we want to define it remember code is the computer reads it by top to bottom so that's very important for you guys to know and understand so now I'm gonna name my function I want to let's suppose I'm constantly turning to the right so and I don't want to constantly be writing that same code because same code same code that gets boring so now I'm actually gonna go and do it myself so now let's suppose hmm, so now I'm gonna do turn underscore left and then we're not gonna pass in any values for right now and then we're gonna do legs dot move and then uh, we're gonna make it two seconds and then and then that's it so we're not really oh steering as well I forgot we wanted to make it um, steering and then obviously I want to turn so uh, this is turn right okay so now so now that's that's all you have to do to define your function obviously remember here spaces do matter so anything you write in here is not going to be inside the function so you actually it needs to be aligned so it needs to be in the tab so anything that i write in here will be in the function but just for right now we're going to leave the function just like that and actually let's set a mm, just like a little break in between wait for seconds then we're going to do three seconds and then now we're gonna go to mm, okay so now that we actually defined it now we could actually call a function so there we go so now i'm gonna compile it and you guys are gonna be able to see it so it should turn uh, oh forgot okay remember <laughs> remember the syntax because it's really important so it's gonna go, then it stops, and then that's it. So it went to this line and then it just called this function right here. But now let's suppose that you're like, okay, I want to be able to control how many seconds, like I could just pass in any value that I want. So instead of putting two, we'll put sec for seconds. And then right here, I would just pass in five. So now, you see it's gonna go on for five seconds you see so now now I'm gonna do four mm, turn right <coughs> now it's just only gonna go four <coughs> for two seconds so let's go then it stops and it goes again for two seconds amazing right so now that we have that going on so now but like mm, so that that's that's very cool as well but you could also make it for example so now so you know how we have here legs default set speed so now we could actually turn that into a function as well so like that we don't have to type it obviously this is something that you're just gonna be entering it once but you know just in case you want to be tweaking with it along along as you go so now we're gonna do 
set underscore speed. And then obviously mm, we're gonna call it value. That's just the, you can name whatever you want, but that's just what I'm calling it right now. And then we're gonna do, I'm just gonna copy and paste this so I don't have to type it again. And then obviously I'm gonna go, uh, okay. And then now that I have, that we have that, oh, uh, you need to tab it. Oh, it's not gonna work. So now I will go to set so underscore speed, and then I want the speed to be 50. So now it's gonna set the speed to 50, and now I want to make it turn right for five seconds. So now, as we see, it's actually gonna go at 50 percent speed. Oh, the syntax again. So, the only bad thing about this software is that when you never you get an issue, it doesn't tell you where it's at. So it that's pretty much the downfall of it. So as you guys saw, but now I'll make it slower so you guys could believe me that it actually works. And then you see, much much slower, much slower. So now I'm gonna stop it. Okay. So now, as we can see, that's what it did. So that's pretty much how you define it. You can actually have a function inside a function. So however, as you guys remember, this top to bottom. So if I were to go and do set underscore speed and just go 50 right here. Do you guys think, do you guys think this is going to work? I, this is going based on what I already told you guys before. So please let me know if you guys think this is going to work. Let's find out. It doesn't. Oh. Oh, what happened? Let's just try it again. Huh, this is so weird. Okay. Let's 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 go slower. See if it actually worked. So it should be going slow, right? So as you see, it did work. Very cool, right? Me personally, just for a little sanity check, I always like to code as define everything that's on the top, and then just make it go like that. Obviously, it still works even though if you have it in the bottom, it's still technically the code had, the function hasn't even been defined, but it still works. So, but as a little sanity check, I just like to go like that. Cause as you guys see now, the robot's not like so confused trying to look for the function. Rather, it already knows cause it was already defined on the top. So it's much easier. Um, sometimes your code might crash because it's still not defined as you guys saw the robots kind of struggling so Yeah, it's better to just define on the very top even though it still works and everything But still always define on the top and remember if you could put a function inside a function it still works and then For example, you could even do a while loop and then I'm gonna call my variable loop less than five and then um so I'm gonna call it turn right, and then this is gonna be three, three seconds. And then, so this, let's erase this. And then let's remove speed from here because we don't want it to every single time the function is called to be setting the speed. So now we're gonna do set speed. Then we're gonna set it to Mm, let's say 40 okay so now what this is going to do is cause it's going to call this function set speed it's going to set this default speed to 40 and then as well then it's going to go inside a while loop um, I need to remember to remember this to always increment your loops because or else it's not going to work as well define your loops so it's gonna do it. So as long as it's less than five, it's gonna it's gonna keep on going. So now it's at zero, which is true. So now it's gonna go. Then now it stops because it has that three second wait. And then it goes again, and then it has that sec stop again. 
and then it just keeps on going and going until it reaches five and it's gonna stop so we're just gonna look at it for a bit and then it's just gonna keep on going keep on going 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 and then as well this is turning at a 90 degrees so keep that in mind then there we go and then I believe it, there's one more left no, it's actually that. <laughs> Alrighty. So that's just pretty much a quick little overview about functions, how they work, kind of the structure of them, kind of how you're able to just put in stuff in there, kind of being able to put other functions inside functions, how to call functions, how to find functions. I hope that this video was very much useful. I know that it could sometimes be very overwhelming, but once you get the hang of it, it's all easy peasy. Let me squeeze. <laughs> But all right, thank you for watching the videos and I hope that you guys learned something something good and it was very helpful. All right. Thank you